In this lesson I will show you how to create a glossary in Moodle and how to link it through your Moodle website. Okay, so first things first, we need to decide where we want to put or where we want to add our glossary. Okay, so let's add it on our front page. So I click on add an activity or resource. And now I search for my glossary and here it is. Click on glossary. Scroll down and click on add. And let's in the first uh, name field we need to give the glossary a name. So let's call this dictionary. I can add a description, but I'll leave it blank for now and I can choose whether to display the description on our on my course page. Let's make this glossary a global glossary and let's choose here. This is my main glossary. Okay. Now we can click on entries and this will I can modify the settings here. The first one is approved by default. I leave it on yes, but I can choose to select no. Okay. Uh, always allow editing. Yes. Duplicate ed entries allowed? No. Allow comments on entries? No. You can choose whether you want to change these settings. Okay. And then very important, automatically link the glossary entries. Leave it on? Yes. And now on appearance, leave it on its default. Great. Leave it on its default and ratings also on its default. All the other settings you can leave as is. Okay. Now let's click on save and display. And here is our dictionary. Okay. So now we need to add entries. Okay. So let's click on add a new entry. Now in our concept field here, we need to add the concept that we want learners to master. Okay. So let's call this cybersecurity. Okay. And here in our definition window, we need to add a, we can either add a definition, a video, audio, uh, image, or text. Okay. So I want to add a cybersecurity definition and the, a video on cybersecurity in here. Okay. So where your mouse is flickering, just um, press and hold the space bar and you'll see the space bar or the mouse cursor moves. Okay. Now select the space and click on the link icon. Now in the link icon, we go to, this is our video on cybersecurity. So I click on the URL right click and copy and now I go back to my dictionary and I paste it in here control and V on your keyboard and now I click on create link okay now the link is created I scroll down I can add keywords cyber security and now click on auto linking and click on the box which says this entry should be auto linked, automatically linked. So I click on that. I click on this entry is case sensitive and I click on match whole words only. Okay. Click on save. Changes. And this is our first concept. Okay. And I can play the video. See if it works. Okay. Yes, it works. Okay. Now I want this concept to be linked site-wide through my whole site. Okay, so let's go to my course. So here's my course on systems technologies. Okay, and now I want to add a web page here. So I click on add an activity or resource. I scroll down and I click on page. Now I can add any resource or um, activity. Okay, for this exercise, I will choose a page. Click on add and here's my page. So let's um, type in a name. I'll call this cyber information. 
sheet. Okay. So let's add the page content. leave it as is click on appearance let's leave it on its default common module settings on its default restrict access on its default activity completion um, let's uh, show activity as complete when conditions are met the students must view it okay tags leave it as is and competencies leave it as is okay now click on save and display now you see here's my topic and here's my content okay now you can see nothing has happened yet okay so let's go and see where the problem is go to site administration go to plugins and scroll down where you see glossary click on glossary and make sure that all the settings that automatically link glossary entries should be checked okay so that's fine let's go back to site administration and now you go to plugins again and you scroll down where you see filters yes filters and you click on manage filters okay let's close this you can see better and now you look at where you see your glossary see here glossary auto linking is on and it should be on okay so that's fine let's go back to our dashboard let's open up this site home this is our dictionary and here's our word can you see here the spelling of the word cybersecurity okay let's go to our course this is our course here there's our page that we've created cyber information sheet and you see the spelling here cybersecurity okay let's edit this let's put in small caps cyber security let's click on save and display okay now you see that it's linked now to the concept in our glossary so click on it and here you can see the video is playing on cyber security okay so wherever you use this concept in your Moodle site it will be linked to the glossary so the learners or the students will be able to click on it and they can play a video an audio recording they can you can add an image in here you can add text in here anything you want to add in here okay as long as it's in the dictionary and it's linked okay and that is how you create a glossary in Moodle